Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to my car. We are starting another opening day, reopening day today. It is July 15th. Two parks are opening, Epcot and also Hollywood Studios. Today we are at Epcot. How exciting, it's been so long. I'm wondering if they have Fushi inside. Another really, really cool thing that's happening today is my baby nephew is being born. My sister texted me this morning at 9 a.m., which means it was about 6 a.m. down in California and said, a baby's on his way. Back to Epcot. We're here at Epcot where you have just parked. I'm so excited. Can you tell I'm excited? I'm excited. Let's go, let's have some fun. Heading into our temperature screening, brought to you by Advent Health. Green means go. Welcome back to Epcot. Spaceship Earth. Oh, oh, there's so many people greeting you. This is so exciting. I kind of feel like I'm in a parade. Everyone's waving at me. Thank you. <laughs> this is exciting. Thank you. Good morning. Good. How about yourself? All right. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> Thank you! And not much has changed about Epcot. Definitely still a lot of walls. I can't wait till these come down. Technically we're still early. The park doesn't open for another maybe 12 minutes. We're gonna make our first ride though, Spaceship Earth, because why not, right? Exit Spaceship Earth, you enter Project Tomorrow, which is normally a very interactive section. <laughs> Not today though, today's looking a little dark. We're heading on over to the World Showcase and we decided to walk through the Epcot experience just to get a little bit of AC, take a little shortcut. I'm surprised to see that not only is it open, but the little show here that's telling you about the future of Epcot is also running. Still wondering when the Ratatouille ride is gonna open. I believe it was supposed to open around now, but of course it got a little bit delayed. I don't know if they have an opening date. I really don't think they do. Good to see you, Mexico Pavilion. One of my favorites, Mexico and Germany. There is a really fun ride inside with a Grand Fiesta tour. It is a boat cruise starring the three Gabrielos. Upon entering the pavilion, you do have a entrance only and a exit only, keeping the traffic flow nice and easy. All right, Jackie, I think the important question is, is La Civa de Quila open? Uh, if it is, I would love to get a margarita. My favorite section is still here, the Mexican candies. Oh, of course, lots of bonds. Mmm. It does look like some of the stores in here are closed, but you still have the market in the middle. We'll heading into the Grand Fiesta tour, and uh, there's a little bit of a tight squeeze. They said there weren't going to be any fireworks, but it does look like Epcot Forever is going. Uh, just kidding, we're still in the Grand Fiesta Tour. I tricked ya. The most popular ride inside of Epcot right now is definitely Frozen. The line does look a bit long. I have a feeling it will go by pretty quickly though. I feel like a good rule of thumb for the wait times is if you see a wait time, cut it in half. Just because of the social distancing, I don't think they really know. I mean, and here's Adam the Woo! Hello! Now the last time we were here, I wanted to stop and get Frushi, and we said that we would come back to get it. I really want to try the Frushi, and I don't know when I'm going to be back. I don't know when I'm going to be able to try the Frushi, Adam. Because we're closing. Do you want to get some Frushi? Yeah. back. <laughs> They have Frucci today? They better have some Frucci, I don't know. This might be the day. They, they are limiting their menu, but if they have Frucci, I'm getting it this time because you, you just should, don't know. You never know. <laughs> this is the time to make it happen. There's currently no wait for the Africa booth. A lot of the booths I have come across, I have not seen a wait yet. Normally there's a very long wait, but they do have the markers just in case. My other favorite pavilion here, the Germany Pavilion. 12 o'clock on the dot. 
Real quick look at Germany and the crowd levels here, or lack thereof. Not all of the food booths are open, so as you can see here, the Spain booth is currently closed. I believe about half of them will be open, maybe slightly less than half. It is a little eerie seeing Epcot this quiet. At Magic Kingdom and at Animal Kingdom, I was kind of loving it, but I think just because I'm so used to seeing Epcot so full of life, lots of performers, lots of people getting food and drinks, it's a bit strange to see it like this. Even though it is a little eerie walking around here very quiet, it has been very relaxing, very calming. This might be one of the only ways you can travel around the world right now, but it's been kind of nice. Taking a stroll around each pavilion, really taking my time. I'm actually catching things that I don't think I've seen before. And this is the real test for me. Let's swing around and see if the Japan booth has Fushi. No. Fushi. No Fushi! <laughs> Dang! I missed my chance this year. I guess I'm gonna have to wait until next year. Wah, wah, wah. I missed my chance with that Fushi! I think I only came to the Flower and Garden Festival once while it was going. They had barely opened it up and then a, maybe a week or two after that it all closed down. So I'm sweating a whole lot today. It is pretty toasty out. I can feel it dripping down my face. I can taste it slightly in my mouth. Oh, that's gross. Sorry. I do have an arsenal of things to try to keep me cool. I got my umbrella to block the sun and in case it rains. I also brought a cooling towel. And I also have my little fan that squirts water at you. It definitely isn't easy trying to balance everything. I got camera in one hand, fan in one hand, umbrella in the same hand as the fan. Eventually I'll put the cooling tower over my shoulders. <laughs> Whatever I can do to keep cool in this Florida heat. It's good to see the Disney Skyliners operating again. It looks like we have a character cavalcade coming down the road. It does look like some royalty. We got some princesses on this one. We've got Belle, Sleeping Beauty, Princess Jasmine, and Snow White. Oh wow, that's a good looking cavalcade. Oh, look at who it is coming across the way. We have the Fab Four, Goofy, Pluto, Mickey, and Minnie. Good to see you, pal. I do believe it is time to spark your imagination. Imagination. It was definitely a nice walk around World Showcase, but I think it's time to ride some rides. What do you say? Hit it, Figment! Usually when you exit the ride, there is another area that's very interactive, but as you can see, it is all shut off. A lot of Epcot is like this. There is a lot of places where you can kind of touch things, play with things, learn about things, but unfortunately right now, it's a bit of a ghost town. surprise another cavalcade is coming through it looks like it's Mickey Mouse and Minnie again <laughs> bye Mickey another surprise and this time by the princesses of Frozen we've got Anna and Elsa uh, Elsa with her hair hair goals right there hi Anna <laughs> after seeing the princesses from Frozen you know I just had to do it I've been dying for a slushy drink and I was walking by and saw this little frozen drink at Joffrey's Usually I'm a bit of a stickler when it comes to paying for drinks and food at theme parks, but I had to let it go. I haven't seen very many of the Toei still up, but it looks like they have a little display of Bambi over here. Thumper, Bambi, and there's a surprise guest inside of Bambi's mouth. Do you guys see the <laughs> lizard sticking out of Bambi's mouth? <laughs> Looks like he found a perfect place for some shade. And also, a little flower.
We're heading into the land pavilion to get on the land. Standby entrance, 15 minutes for living with the land. <laughs> Hello, oh, welcome back. We've missed you from the land. Like the water lily, thrive in wet, swampy areas and waterways. And here is Storm coming. We really, really, really want to get on Test Track today. That is my favorite ride within Epcot. We got to wait out the storm. I'm not too sure if it's going to happen today, but we're also going to head on over to the Frozen ride. See how long the wait time is on that. Now the Frozen ride is showing a 55 minute wait time. We're kind of going off the fact that most of the rides have been half of that of the wait time. Right now it is exactly 4.15, so let's see how long it takes us to get inside. And it looks like the storm is about to push through. Wind is picking up. Oh yeah, but feel that breeze, that is nice. Do you think we're gonna make it inside of the queue before the rain comes? I really don't know. At first I thought yes, but now Cutting it kind of close. It's going to be very close. We're so close to getting inside of the queue. It's right there. But as soon as we get off of the ride, you know, it'll probably be pouring. 35 minutes. That wasn't too bad. We got the whole boat to ourselves. My hearty of three will be taking over this whole thing. <laughs> I didn't really open my umbrella properly. But we're making our way across to the relaxation station. Oh yeah, that's the move right here. So we have tables that are marked saying you can sit here, but also tables that are marked that say you cannot sit here. They definitely have the hand sandy available for you. Definitely maintain your physical distance when in this area because you can take off your face mask. But there is plenty of space. I felt my phone buzzing while we were on Frozen and something told me just to glance at it, just to take a really quick look. And I got the text message, baby is here. We have a Frozen baby. I'm so excited for my sister and my brother-in-law. I can't wait to get back out there and meet him. I have a nephew. I'm an auntie. Auntie Danny. <laughs> that sounds so weird. Oh, I'm so excited. Wish I could be there. I love them so much. Soon. Soon we'll get back to California. Here's a crowd level check at 5.40 p.m. As the day starts to unwind and the storm starts to dissipate. Actually, I can still hear the thunder. It's still around. But look at Epcot looking mighty, mighty beautiful. Walking by Test Track one more time just in case it's a no-go. Ah. We'll definitely have to come back. I'm also interested in seeing what they're doing different with Test Track because usually it's very interactive. The whole queue is basically based off of you making your car with the computer. You're designing the car, you're trying to make your car the best out of everyone in the party. So that'll be interesting. I'm sure that they took off all of those elements, but the ride itself is still a lot of fun. As we're walking out and we're heading into mouse gear, I decided to grab another Baby Yoda. I do already have one at home, but we wanted one that we can take out without getting the other one eh, dirty or infected or whatever is the case we got the second one as the backup and now currently making our way out outside of Epcot or as I sometimes like to call it Walcott Wall City walls 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 guiding your way walls in your way hidden passage wall hanging by a trash can wall blocking your view wall Wall it. Family play zone wall. How about that wall? Instagrammable wall. Wow. Oh no, Spaceship Earth is dripping. Was it good to be back at Epcot, Adam? It felt amazing. Felt really great to be back. Feel, like, it didn't really hit me until now that I'm leaving. I'm like, wow, I was I, at Epcot all day. Yep. And now I don't want to leave. Me no. Too. I'm like, maybe we should just stay until right? we get closed. If Spaceship Earth reopened, I would, I'd probably get back in the line. Oh, I'd <laughs> get back in. But it's down. It is down. And so is Test Track. 
test track back. Ah, uh, darn. It means we just gotta come back. Yeah, we do. Until next time, Epcot. Until next time. I'm going to say it was different. Of course it was different, but I still had a wonderful time. I think Disney does a great job. So far we've been to three of the four parks and I think so far they have done an amazing job at keeping all of the guidelines up. So keeping the social distance markers everywhere. Uh, everyone's wearing their mask. If you're not wearing your mask, pretty quickly they come up to you to tell you to go ahead and place that back on. The low capacity definitely helps and it makes the experience fun because you're not waiting in long lines. Until next time guys, I appreciate you guys watching these videos. It's been so much fun. I have been putting out a lot more this week than I normally do and there is another one coming very soon. I really only do one a week and this week I've got about four <laughs> coming at ya. So hit that notification bell if you want to be notified. Until next time guys, we'll see you later. Bye. Ooh, just saw some lightning. Ooh.